hello everyone welcome to another video in our channel so as you can see like uh, we're trying to test this eco flow because there are lots of devices you can see which we're going to test and how much this eco flow uh, river 2 can support uh, you probably know that uh, we're trying to get some renewable ener uh, energy solar energy already installed some solar panel you can see in my previous video so recently I bought this EcoFlow River 2 but I found that it's the power is not really enough but I got it like almost uh, 140 pound but these are selling for like normally 170 but there's a discount but uh, uh, not very happy with it because it's not uh, not store en enough energy so as you can see in this display so it is 50 percent charged and uh, so I'm going to test few things and see how much uh, it draws so for example at first if uh, if we are going to uh, connect my connect my phone not phone connect my uh, let's connect my watch first and see if it generates like everything is taking is charging so it's not drawing enough energy from there so it's not showing so let's connect uh, a, my or 25 volt vacuum so it's saying it's 2 watt so it's charging it's it is taking 2 watt this phone it is taking only 2 watt of my uh, power from that EcoFlow River 2 and <coughs> let's put this uh, charger for our vacuum Let's see how much it draws. We need to turn on the AC first and then we connect. So that's the problem. You see, this one, the switch is there. So if I put it, plug it on first, so there is no way I can turn the switch on. So I need to turn the switch on first and see how much. As you can see, it's drawing like around 16 watt. So it's now total 18 watt. And the phone is also, you can see it is charging. So it's total 18 watt. So now I'm going to connect my fan also with it. So let's try to put a three point. So it only has like this one, one AC output. So that's the another issue because if you so let's see if I connect it there and if I want to connect my let's see if I connect it uh, that way my fan so fan is drawing almost like 20 watt but if I want to connect it now this one because this plug has some extra end on this side so there is no way because I can't connect it there because it's, it's now stuck there. I won't be able to fit it in. So I need the extension cord for that. Okay. So that's the issue there. And even if I connect it, let's see. Connect it to the bottom there. Okay, I connected that uh, fan. You see, I can't connect it there because it is getting stuck. So this plug will not work. Let's. Uh, I think the other way may work. Let's see if I put it this way. No, it will not work because you can see this is the the opposite way. So you need to be on that way. <laughs> so that's the problem with this uh, one plug there. If there's two because ac70 i switched to ac70 blue t and it has like a two a ac output so that actually helps anyway so uh, let's turn the fan on and see how much power is drawing so it's only 20 watts so i just increase the power of the fan so it's taking almost like 34 watt because around two watt is taking uh, taken by my uh, by watch Samsung watch so it's probably 33 watt 
the fan is taking the stable fan so I mean it is okay but it's not a great uh, device is very like uh, limited amount it can support so let's connect my phone it's charging so phone is taking probably around 3 watt so <coughs> I mean um, it's not a very brilliant one so I think it's better if you want to buy and uh, and either no way it's a 300 watt uh, uh, solar uh, power station so it's no way it will be able to support your if you want to boil water on small heating or like a small induction hob it won't but the blue TS 70 that can definitely support that so let's look at its back and see and the other issue is like uh, the you can see here the solar s solar input the solar input in maximum 110 watt so you, you can only use like here 110 watt and maximum solar any, any solar panel you are going to buy it need to be the solar solar panel output need to be 11 to 30 volt 8 ampere and the volt cannot exceed 110 watt but my AC 90 AC 70 in blue T it can support up to 500 watt solar panel and almost like 60 volt so that is really that's one of the a reason like you know why you should buy like a bigger one not the smaller one and I'll show you how it compares to my blue tea the size difference okay so let's see okay so now you can see how it compares to like compared to this blue tea it's like a monster it's like a small baby it's so little there and uh, you can see it has this one AC input there and another AC so you can actually it's very easier to connect uh, like two AC output and it also has like a hundred watt USB-C and also USB-A port and also like the solar input is in the front so it's very easily accessible display is very good compared to this display and uh, so i think if you want to buy so you can choose for blue t sc70 okay so this is much better than this blue t sc70 is much better than this eco flow river 2 that's my experience that's my personal experience i have never been like uh, it's not any sponsored video and i bought it with my money this blue tea no, nobody offered me anything so this is a unbiased video it's just for my experience okay so i think that's all for now i'm going to test the blue tea device in future and i'll keep updating some videos so if you want to watch those videos you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll be able to see how much money it is saving from the solar energy and so this is really helping so we're charging on our, our, our like you know phone and you can see the other device like uh, all the device phone and also my dji this uh, battery pack so dji battery pack it's all charged it's really helping and also like uh, it's getting my phone and mobile and also this fan it is running so this is very good like it can save lots of energy by you know storing the solar energy and then you can charge it whenever you can like you know and you can also take it like if you're going for a, like a trip somewhere like a, a motorhome holiday or like anywhere like locally you can uh, take it in your car and then you can charge all your device your uh, phones and uh, any other accessories like phones tom tom any like uh, gps device and cameras so i think that's the that's the 
<coughs> end of our video so subscribe our channel and hopefully i'll be able to update you some more video sorry i was not very really organized so you can see all the cables these are not uh, organized at all uh, because i just made the video very quickly so hopefully you will this video will be helpful to someone okay so that's all for now thanks for watching bye